as rich as Ireland in 12th through 18th century castles, abbeys and fortified houses, many of which are in splendid ground. At Knockgraffan Moat, you can climb to the top of this remarkable hill to capture the exact same view as the Norman chief who ruled the area many centuries before. A few hundred yards to the north of Knockgraffan Moat is Knockgraffan Abbey, another of the 12th century abbeys destroyed by fire but with fascinating structural remains. What's most remarkable and unique here in Ireland is the freedom of access a visitor has to a huge number of these historic structures. Irish history and ancient mythology place the hill of Tara below as the place where over 140 kings have reigned over the surrounding territories during the same period and beyond as the passage tombs to the north. On a clear day, you can look northwest and see the bright white quartz facade of Newgrange. On the front side of the Newgrange tomb, what appears to be a painted white facade is, upon closer inspection, History is a significant contribution to the Irish landscape. This is the Passage Grave of Nauth, built 5,000 years ago in 3,500 BC, more than 1,000 years before the pyramids and Stonehenge. Nauth is just one of a group of passage graves recently excavated, revealing significant archaeological intelligence from lives past. Segovia. Where the rivers Erisma and Clamores come together, the whimsical but mighty Alcázar rises above a limestone bluff like a ship's prow out of the water. The village of Caer grew up around this spectacular 12th century castle, strategically placed on the Shore River, 